Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry about that. Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Brother West coming back again. I hope uh, the messages and, and my teachings and uh, the things that God has put in my heart, the lessons that I've been uh, I've been releasing, I hope they have been really blessing you. And um, it's my will and my desire that uh, whatever God has put in my heart, that I'm clear enough uh, through scripture and through my relationship with God where you can understand exactly um, uh, uh, what the scripture says, but also you can also know exactly what you're dealing with and what you're facing. So, because one of my jobs and one of my giftings is to interpret the spirit, to interpret things uh, uh, of the spirit according to the mind of God. And so uh, God often allows me to understand uh, shapes, sounds, uh, different figures and stuff like that. And he reveals and he speaks and, and he teaches me uh, what he's saying through nature. He teaches me oftentimes, through, most oftentimes through my kids, through my family. He reveals so much to me, especially even just in, in how I uh, I am with my kids. One of the things that I've, I've always done all of my life with my kids, at night, at night, I'm always up. And at night, when I'm always up, I'm always walking and pacing the house. And, and what I do, I just survey the house. I watch the house. I check everything. I check everything. I check every room. I check the kids, check the pillows, make sure, make sure they're breathing and make sure everything is okay. That, that's what I do. I watch over. I watch over what's mine. I, you know, I check, check on my wife and I, I watch over. I watch over. I watch. I'm a watchman. That's my job. And so, and, and God reminds me of scripture concerning him and concerning his word. And he says that he watched over his word. He, he sent his word out. And he says that the word says that, and it, that word will accomplish, that will it accomplish, and it will not return unto him void. And so in other words, God's word is his seed. And so in other words, God is watching over his seed. And he's going to make sure at every turn, and he's going to make sure at every, every, every time, every moment, every season, that when whatever's going on, he's watching. He's watching even when that seed dies. He's watching because that's one of the things that, that, that a seed does before it grows. One of the things it does, it dies. But, but, but before it dies, it has to abide alone. And so this is where many of you are listening to me or at. You're in a place where you're alone. And in this alone place, you are dying out. You are trying to find yourself because it feels like you're dead. It feels like you're numb because of the situation that you're in. See, buddy, what it is, you're in a situation where God is squeezing you. You are in a situation where God is bringing out the best in you through your travail. He's birthing out a new person. He's birthing out that, that, that voice. He's birthing out that vessel, that expression. That, that's carved in his image, in his mind. And he's birthing it out to you. And it's coming through your pressure. There's an old saying that says that pressure busts pipes. But also what pressure does, pressure, pressure makes diamonds. And, and, and so many of you, you are being made. You are being carved. Crystal clear. You are being carved where he can, he can use you. You are being, you're being, you're being cleansed. Where you can see as he see. Where you can feel as he feel. Where you can hear as he hear. This is why the scripture says, take heed how you hear. And see the reason why, and the reason why, one of the reasons why Jesus said that is because the, the one that you listen to will teach you how to hear. And so the adversary is trying to teach you how to hear. He's trying to teach you to hear like him. He's trying to hit, see, he's trying to, it, it's just like, it's just like you got some people that's always gravitate to negative. And it's just always when they even get medicine, they always look at the side effect. Oh, what the side effects. They ain't looking at what it can do, but they're looking at the negative part. And, and so that's what he's trying to teach you. He's trying to teach you a mindset of fear. He's trying to teach you a mindset of doubt. Oh yeah. He's trying to teach you a mindset of defeat. 
See, see, but the devil, he's a defeated folk. He's a defeated folk. And I curse his plan now. I bust it up in the name of Jesus. Wake up, wake up. Come out of that, come out of that spell. And see, and see, some of you, see, the enemy done gave you some sleeping pills. See, that's why you're not paying attention. Uh, and see, 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 you're sleepwalking. And, and then you sleepwalk and you run into, into all kinds of stuff. You wake up and you find you wonder why you got a bump on your head. It is because you're sleepwalking. See, see, but God said the spell is broken. The curse is broken. No more bumping your head. No more going through that. No more being hit. No more being bruised. It's time to wake up. It's time to open up your eyes and see what you're dealing with. Hear what I'm saying? It's time to open up your eyes and be careful. Be careful. Be careful of what you listen to. Be careful of what you listen to because what you listen to will try to teach you how to hear. And not only will the enemy try to teach you how to hear, he will teach you how to react. He will teach you how to react. He'll teach you how to respond. And see, he's going to teach you, he's going he's to get you to respond irrational. Irrational. He's going to get you to respond um, without thinking. He's going to teach you to respond out of anger. Out of frustration. In those places, he wants you to be all irrational. He, he don't want you to, he don't want you to think. He wants you to react. No, don't, don't think just react. And, and see, because he knows if you just react, he knows he got you. See, see, but God got you. It's God got you. And he got his hand on him. See, because you, you see it. Beloved, you see it. See, because you're not ignorant. See, because you see his patterns. See, because as you go back and as you go back, you look at it. Every time you're under attack, certain things happen. Every time it's the same thing, like a cycle. Everything is a cycle, just like with seasons. With, before every season, there are signs. Before every season, there are signs. When those leaves begin to ch change colors, you know fall. Fall is coming. When they begin to fall, fall off the fall off the trees and, and all of that, you know winter is around the corner. And, and, or when, when you know that the trees are becoming green and blossoming and the flowers are, are, are forming and looking beautiful, then you know summer is around the corner. Bef bec before every season, there is a sign. And, and so in this season, because all hell is coming up against you, this is your season to be blessed. See, because one of the things, and I got to go, one of the things, one of the things when the children of Israel, when the children of Israel was going over to their promised land, they come to, what they met with, they met with giants, which means they met large men, large people. Not only that, they were large people, they were large people guarding large stuff, large fruit, large vegetables, all that, pomegranate, all that, large. And so you need to know that your blessing is large. It's large, it's big, it's big, it's big. That's why what you've been fighting is big. That's why what's been hitting you has been big. And it's like every blow. Every blow is every blow is just just at a different uh, just at a different intensity. Everything you go through, everything has just been heightened. See because see because the stakes the stakes are greater. The blessing is coming down. The blessing is becoming greater. This is your blessed moment. This is your blessed hour. It is the season for you to be blessed. It is the season for your miracle. It is the season for your breakthrough. It is the season for your healing. Not tomorrow, but right now. The scripture said today is the day of salvation. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. You're coming out. Whatever kind of situation you might have been bound in, whatever kind of predicament, whatever kind of hell that, that you've been holding on to or been holding on to you, your moment of truth is here. It's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out with, with praise. It's time for you to come out blessing his name. It's time for you to come out magnifying the name of God. See, because it's God. It's God with you. See, you thought you was alone, but you weren't alone. You weren't alone. And, and see, you thought you was going to die, but you hear my voice. You woke up. You woke up and it was God that woke you up. And so that voice that told you that you was going to die, that voice that told you that you weren't going to make it, that voice, that voice lied to you because the fact that you're hearing me, that means that the devil lied to you. And so the fact that he's lying, celebrate God and just know that he's a liar. But this time, trust God. Don't even listen to the enemy. Don't even listen to what he's saying. Just shut him down. Don't even listen to his sound. Don't even listen to his thoughts or nothing like that. Shake him off. The scripture said, resist him and he will flee. God bless you. And heaven smiling. And may all God best be your, let me pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. God, I thank you for what you're doing.
God, I thank you for how you're blessing your people. God, I thank you for how you're shaking us up. God, I thank you, God, for how you're moving, God. God, I thank you for how, you, how you're cracking the skies of our understanding, God. God, I thank you for the understanding of you is awakening. God, in many eyes, God. God, waking our eyes up, God. God, bring us together even in a greater way, God. God, shake us up, God. God, shake us up. God, shake up every gift. God, shake up every gift. God, shake up every hope. God, shake up every joy. God, shake them up right now. God, for everybody's down, God. God, shake them up, God, and put strength upon them. God, that person that's down and out, that feel like trouble is going to overtake them, God. God, go in their situation right now and, and speak life. God snatched him out of that dark place. God snatched him out of that hole. God snatched him out of that hell. God snatched him out of that situation. God pulled him out. God pulled that boy out of that situation. God pulled that daughter. God pulled that mother. God pulled that father out of that mindset of fear, out of that mindset of confusion and contention. God, we beat it, right? We beat back every demon right now, every voice of hell, every spirit of demonic force. We speak against it right now in the name of Jesus. We look hooks in the jaws of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, God, speak to your people right now. God, God heal your people. God, God, awaken your people right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.